Hello, hello everyone. Good morning, Kalimera, Kalispera. Good afternoon. How are you all? This is Kathy from Divine Debut bringing you your daily Divine Spread. 23rd of June 2020. Thank you so much for being here and wishing you a beautiful day. And let's see what today's spread, today's message is all about. Astrologically speaking, we may all feel a little bit sensitive as the moon is at the last degrees of Cancer. So um, fun times ahead as we're finishing up this moon. Was a new moon? Well, was a new moon in the sign of Cancer, so therefore the moon has been activated. It's been activated, right? So new moon, solar eclipse a few days ago. In the sign of Cancer, now the moon is at the last degrees of Cancer, so there is high sensitivity. So we all may be feeling a little bit down. We're going through some sort of a transformation. We're going deep. This is Scorpio. Scorpio is the house of intimacy, the occult. Okay, it is Plutonian. And Scorpio means a very deep connection where our emotional self is concerned and our physical self. So this is connecting deeply. Now, Scorpio is water, moon in Cancer, very sensitive. It, you know, getting to a point of maybe and hopefully opening up and speaking about those even darkest fears because Scorpio can be quite scary. It is very dark in that house, okay? And I'm going to say Scorpio does speak of jealousy as well. You know, all the darkest um, energies which, you know, Scorpio and transforming a situation is not easy, a death process. Think of all the, uh, the negative emotions we could feel. That is Scorpio. Um... Scorpio is also Pluto, so it's all about penetrating, going very, very deep. Let's look at today's divine spread, everyone. Okay, so the Karma Dharma is that Pluto is transforming our life. This is giving us also the power because Pluto is very powerful. The power to exchange exchange something that was not working for us for something else. Um, deep, deep connections. Let's have a look. We've got the Six of Cups at the foundation and this is the distant past. So this is about a soulmate connection. doesn't have to be only love. Okay, this is your tribe. This is someone that feels like family. I usually do see this Six of Cups in this deck. And if you're interested in the cards I'm using, they're in the description box below. I do see it as, you know, family coming together, people that feel like family. This is, in a way, it's like having or dealing with someone that feels like family to you. This is a card of things used to be so easy in the past. There was a very trusting connection here. What is hidden? Wow, and we've got the three of pentacles in the reverse. And I'm not reading reversals, so it's strange that this card came up like that. For me, a reverse card says that we have not graduated to the three yet. And three is an expansion. Okay, but so there's still a decision someone's trying to um, make their mind about. And this is the two of pentacles for me. At some point, we will get to the three. Now, this could also mean that someone is dropping out of a, a situation. I have been speaking about an external source, um, external person, a situation that's um, in the way, which is a blockage for a deep connection. So maybe this is the time when someone is being left out of the equation. That's what's hidden here. Let's look at the recent past. And we have the King of Swords. So someone's been cut out of the equation. 
This can also speak of someone wanting to speak their truth. King of Swords is usually someone very communicative. Okay, King of Swords, for some of you, may be someone that you're cutting out of your life. Could go either way as Scorpio is getting rid of that dead skin, you know, getting rid of that heavy weight, making space through truth in your life. What's in the now? We've got the High Priestess. Strong, strong intuition. You know, the High Priestess could be that other woman as well. This is also communication on a spiritual level, on another level, okay? Something that may have been secretive, secrets withheld. What's your goal? What are you aiming for? And we've got the Two of Pentacles. Wow. So whether it's your goal or the person you're dealing with, Two of Pentacles, right? Trying to decide, trying to keep things up in the air, trying to balance, find equality, find, you know, balancing out that those scales. This could also mean, you know, trying to um, make ends meet where your financial situation is concerned. Let's have a look at the action and advice. And we've got another reverse card. Nine of Swords in the reverse. Beautiful. Goes back to the Eight of Swords. Um, this could be someone having made their decision. Okay, having made their decision. Nine of Swords is a really harsh card when it's in the upright. Okay, this is like going around in, in circles, you know, your head not stopping. This is very strong Gemini for me as Gemini is. It's very quick thinking, but also difficulty in making a decision. Okay, but I do feel, you know, this at some point will... It will turn upright. So someone's been looking for the answers, something that's been hidden. And I'm going to say Neptune has turned, has now turned retrograde. Okay, so it's only a few hours ago. So it's still stopped in the sky. It's stationary um, retrograde, sorry. So it's going to start moving. It's very slow moving. And it, you know, it is very amplified. So I don't know if you feel confused there is a sense of confusion today, okay, Neptune can be those rose-coloured glasses, you may be feeling a little bit disillusioned or lost, not seen clearly, you know, Nine Swords is about perception logic, let's look at the outcome, and we've got the King of Pentacles, you know, I was pre-shuffling, before I open cam, I always prepare, of course, my cards, and one card turned open and it was the King of Pentacles. And I don't find it strange at all that he's here. Whoever this is in your life, and he has been showing up in this deck when I've been reading with this deck, he's got his head down. This would be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, doesn't have to be. It is mainly my Taurus card, but it doesn't have to be for all of you. This could be someone who's got strong Taurus in their chart. Now, if this is Taurus, Scorpio is their seventh house of partnership, other people. Some of you may be dealing with two different people, Aquarius, Gemini or Libra, and another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, now, I'm going to say, you know, if this is Aquarius and this is Taurus, we've got Scorpio as well. These are the three fixed energies. Now, this King of Pentacles has got a lot that they're dealing with. He's um, maybe more than likely this is the energy that they're feeling. Nine of Swords, they feel bound, they feel chained, they feel as though they're trapped in some sort of a situation and they're trying to find their way, way out. They're trying to find a way to escape, jump over those hurdles. For others of you, King of Swords is in your recent past. King of Pentacles is in your future. Let's look at the divine position. And we've got the King of Wands. Wow. <laughs> King of Wands is someone who takes action, someone who wants to create, someone who's very sexually driven. And I do see, you know, Scorpio many times does, for me, I see the King of Wands as very Scorpio. Why? Because Scorpio is very passionate. So there's a lot of 
um, desire and that's where the wands come in for me with Scorpio. Now this could be Leo, Sagittarius or Aries. We've got three kings. Three kings are usually protection. What's going on here? We've got the three of wands. Three of wands, look at all the hardship there. Look at all those choppy waters, Neptune. Okay, now three of wands is someone that's been waiting. Okay, there is a storm, I feel, that's around the corner. Someone's trying to expand. They're trying, they're waiting on those ships to come in, but they're going through a storm right now and there's no, you know, those ships cannot sail at this time. We've got the Nine of Cups here, which is a wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups, someone may have been um, buried in their emotions, you know, not seeing clearly, using any uh, substances to escape a situation. Um, this could be a messenger. We've got, you know, the Page, Page of Wands, which is someone who may have taken a risk in the past, going for what they desire. And, you know, that ace, that ace of wands is someone that's ready to go on that journey. This could be someone that's thinking of sending out that message, you know, aiming towards their desires, what they want to manifest. But for some reason, there is some sort of a confusion that's trying to clear, um, a situation that needed to take be taken care of before they can those as I said those ships can actually sail let's take more more cards the moonology what's the advice here emotions are running high super moon exactly what I was saying before usually a super moon is a moon that it is a full moon and it's usually very close to the earth therefore it does look bigger and obviously its energy is very amplified so this does bring up sensitivities of course it's a illumination a strong illumination and as we are affected by the moon everyone is feeling this okay so depending on what your story is obviously there are high emotions going on Wow, dropping the cards. I just dropped the mice and it came in the reverse. So this is good because the mice can mean a financial loss. It could mean any sort of a nuisance, um, a sense of burden, hardship. Okay, so it, being in the reverse obviously is very good. Let's take some Lenormand and see what's going on. What's going on as the Lenormand does speak of a different story. It sees things from a different perspective. Let's um, take the first card and we've got the path. Now the path can mean a decision. This can also mean um, there's been, you know, divided emotions. So a different path. Maybe this is someone deciding to change their trajectory and this is fated it is a number 22 okay this is a transition point let's have a look what else do we have we've got the star card okay someone is heading towards what they desire what they wish and this is the news coming in it is a one so it is a beginning again this could also mean travel as well these are messages coming in, new beginnings. This could even be a visitor. And we've got another karmic card, 11, which is the whip. This can mean arguments or two people not being on the same page. Or a decision is difficult uh, to be made. Okay. The whip... This is very similar to the Five of Wands. Let's see what's beneath it. And we've got the house. So something to do with your um, stability, your emotional self. That house card is very much, very much like the what happened with the eclipse. The eclipse energy is in the sign of Cancer. Let's look at the Lenormand and see what's going on in love. 
particularly in love play spirit. So show me. We have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. We do see a couple that's taking time out away from the world to have those important conversations. Retreat with a couple here that can also speak of hidden, you know, a connection that is hidden for me. We've got true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And I love this card. There is a lot of trust here. Okay. Romance of a lifetime. So this is a very, very deep and powerful connection. And we've got love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So someone obviously with this card felt as though they were not worthy, I would say, more than likely, of this connection. So this was doubting themselves. They were doubting themselves, maybe even doubting this connection. There may have been a breakup where someone needed to love and nurture themselves. So there was a point where someone needed to understand that they were worthy of this connection. And, you know, this is sort of, this does speak a little bit of the ego as well. Some of you may have felt that someone was quite egotistical and only providing for their own emotional security than for the connection. Let's see here. And we've got stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And there is some sort of an offer here, as you could see. So optimism, very important at this time. Let's see if we can fit all these cards in the picture here. All right. So I'm going to take now more cards. Let's have a look. Let's look at this death card first of all. Scorpio, Scorpio matters. Money from your partner. Um, this is the money house. Money coming from other sources, external sources. You know, the snake always reminds me of jealousy, but it reminds me also of, you know, venom, something venomous. So jealousy comes to mind. Um, Mm, a very strong sexual connection, a yearning, yearning for deep connection. Let's have a look. And we've got the moon in the reverse. We've got another reverse card. Looks like the cards need to come out in the reverse today. The moon in the reverse is very strong fear. Uh, maybe even a sense of me thinking that there is deception here. Things that were hidden, you're wanting to go deep to figure out, to clear up, because this is massive illusion here. And we know that the moon is also in the reverse, and therefore it goes back to the star card for me. So Aquarius would be the air energy here. This could also mean deception or someone not being very nurturing, very loving as the, you know, the moon card does speak of cancer for me. It can be Pisces as well. Pisces is unconditional love, but it's also that illusion. Now, a cycle needed to go through transformation before it can come to a completion. What else do we have? And we've got the page of wands here. So someone is willing to take that risk, even though there may have been a lot of confusion here. Let's have a look. Let's take more cards. So I'm going to take a card first on this Three of Wands, which is the general energy. We've got the Ten of Swords. Wow, there was an ending, and this needed to happen. This is the darkest before the dawn, okay, which means that there was a cycle that needed to, there needed to be quiet, peace, um, healing as well. And this, because we've got the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords here. And this could have to do with the lockdown as well, which was a period of endings. 
okay it's like there's a rebirth whether it's in our emotional life or our physical life you know our surroundings even on a collective scale let's take another card one more card on that ten of swords and we've got the knight of wands right here and the knight of wands here in this deck is off the horse so it's been a long journey i'm going to say and someone is very weary Now, this could also speak of a uh, burning out of a desire. So something that's been heavily weighed on. So what I feel here is that someone lost the tools, someone lost um, the ability. Um, so things were up against someone reaching what they desire. Okay, so... They've had to actually, he's had to come off his horse and walk. So this is slowing down, a stride that needed to slow down for whatever reason. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. And this is Sag for me. The Knight of Wands is Sagittarian. Let's have a look at this Six of Cups in the foundation. Another reverse card, Ace of Swords. Sorry, this is not Ace of Swords. This is the Magician. So the magician, no, it is the Ace of Swords. What am I saying? Oh, my God, talk about confusion. Ace of Swords in the reverse. Hmm. Something was withheld. Some truth was withheld here. There was um, deception. There were lies here. And I feel that the trust has been broken. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles in the hidden position. So we've got the King and the Queen of Pentacles. So something surrounding work, as the Three of Pentacles is about work, it is about collaborating. Maybe there was no collaboration. Someone was very withheld, but someone is holding on to this connection for dear life. Someone is seriously, and this Queen of Pentacles would be Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Let's have a look at this King of Swords. And we've got the Ace of Cups. Well, another ace, but it's in the upright here. This is, um, this king of swords is speaking truthfully about what their emotional heart, what their emotional self is yearning for. Um, maybe this king of swords used that sword and severed ties, maybe through their maybe through their um, truth. And I'm going to say that this something was about to take, to, to, to begin and grow. There was the need for that, but there was the need also for truth and clarity here. So whether there were, there were lies, there were miscommunication, or there were secrets withheld, This relationship has gone through a cycle. Now the King of Swords holds that Ace of Cups, which could be a truthful conversation around love or wanting to start something that makes this King of Swords very happy. Let's have a look at this um, High Priestess. High Priestess in the now. And we've got the lovers here. And this is Gemini. So this is a very strong connection, obviously. There were lies. There wasn't communication. Someone had ended it. Maybe even a decision had to be made between um, this other woman and the connection that I would say more than likely one of these kings was in. So... Gemini is all about making a decision, right? It's hard. But Gemini is also where Venus is retrograding. Now, Venus is moving direct in two days. Let's have a look at that two of pentacles. And we've got the uh, sign of Leo here. This is the strength card. So this king of wands would either be, could be any, I'm going to say, because 
we've got, as I mentioned, Sagittarius. We've got the um, Page of Wands, which is more than likely Aries energy. And we've also got Leo here. So again, trust, uh, trusting in your ability. The trust had been broken, but this is also someone who's maybe taking a quantum leap, getting the courage to make that decision and run with it. What about that Nine of Swords in the reverse, in the action and advice? And we've got the Five of Swords. So conflict, obviously. Conflict, mind games, um, very heavy on the intellect, on thought, process here. We've got 14 Swords, which is the Temperance. And we know that the Five of Swords, Fives always bring in change, but it's also having external issues surrounding you. And look, the Five of Swords can also speak of someone getting out of their mind, their mindset and ready to do battle, ready to take the action, even if they cut themselves in the process. They're willing to win over, win over their fears, their nightmares of what could go wrong. Let's have a look at the King of Pentacles, which is in the outcome position. Now, he could be having money issues. He could have family issues. He's someone who is burdened with a lot, okay? A lot of things to do with commitment. You know, the pentacle, this is the beginning of something stable, whether it's a business, whether it's a commitment, whether it's a relationship, okay? The ace of pentacles can even be a child, you know? Let's have a look. And we've got the sun here, everyone. And I was just saying it could also be a child. And we've got the page of wands here, which could also be a child. So obviously, king of pentacles, king of wands, this would be very strong Leo. For others of you, the fact that it could be Sagittarius, we've got the knight of wands here. This could be someone that's from a different background at a distance to you. Let's have a look. The sun does speak of healing. It speaks of clarity. It does speak of ego as well. Strong ego. So I'm going to say this. King of Pentacles has gone through hell and back. They've gone through tough, tough lessons. But the sun card also speaks of vitality and health. Now their health may have been challenged as well as they've been through a very difficult time needing to make a choice. Let's have a look at the King of Wands who's someone that's ready to take the action, ready to dive, dive into the fire. Let's take another card and we've got the Seven of Pentacles. So there we've got Earth as well. Uh, and I'm going to say this, King of Wands, whatever they've invested their time, energy, um, into, I feel as though they're ready to take that dive now, ready to take that risk. If it's taken them a while, and this could be seven weeks, this could be, for others of you, this could be seven years, okay, that they've taken time to make that decision to move forward and we've got the knight of swords now this could mean anything legal as well look at that sword that's up in the air this is the knight of swords so this is quick communication quick action moving into it and taking charge severing ties with whatever's been burdensome these could be matters of the law as well but of course you know because we've got the scales this does speak of a connection or a some sort of a relationship where others are concerned because we've got the scales here and there's been an imbalance, no doubt. And, you know, even a seven, seven is the divine, but it's also, it's not a number of balance. So something needs to be severed through, spoken through, um, taken action on. And this is coming in very quickly. What's at the bottom of the deck? And we've got the Hierophant. So this is a commitment. This is anything to do with the relationships, marriage, um, values, self-worth. 
this could also be um, some sort of a hierarchy, whether this is a spiritual growth within this King of Pentacles or this is obviously with Uranus moving through Taurus, this is someone rebelling against the norm and I keep getting the same messages, everyone. Three of Cups, connection, reconciliation, celebration, maybe even gossip. And we've got the Five of Wands here. So I'm going to say that Five of Wands could also be a family. Okay, things to do with a family. Burdens of the family. Maybe even trying to build on something. And you know, Taurus is the earth. Taurus is also things to do with land, property, um, anything to do with, you know, building, literally building. Maybe, you know, this King of Pentacles has got a business. This could be a property developer, someone who's got a lot on their plate right now that they've been trying to build on. This could be, you know, in two different areas. We're building on a relationship, but also literally building something. Also, I'm going to say that the love yourself first always, to me, says that you need to nurture and provide for yourself now, because Leo is the sun, the sun is our ego, it's our physical body. This King of Pentacles has been dealing with so much, I would say, that yes, maybe their health was um, challenged. But also, I'm going to say that whatever this burdens this King has been dealing with, they haven't been loving themselves now. It's more than likely that they're going to aim for to love themselves first, which means to nurture, provide and give to their own physical body, their emotional body, and maybe even go for what they desire. You know, Leo is true love. It's risk-taking. So it that's what it's all about, and that's what I think is happening with this King of Pentacles. Okay. Now, because we've got the King and the Queen of Pentacles here, this is obviously a couple. Okay. Now we've got the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, you know, she's got her back turned to this King. And maybe that could be the sorrow that this King of Pentacles is going through. They're going through heavy emotional sorrow, okay, and something needs to give. If this Queen of uh, Pentacles has severed ties, um, put up the wall, then this could be the clarity. This could be the communication. We do have true love and retreat. We've got Stay Optimistic, and we've also got the news coming through as, you know, the news is on top of the wish card, which is the star. And the star does speak of Aquarius as well. So we've got air, fire, and earth very strong here. All right, so I'm going to take now, I'm going to take my handwritten cards, and hopefully they will resonate for a lot of you. Now, because we've got Gemini here, Gemini is communication, Venus is ready to turn direct, a secrets that were withheld um, could be spoken of, cleared, communicated, and Gemini is also, you know, making a decision, someone's ready to speak to open up the book of mystery let's take the messages and see we've got I want you in my life for today tomorrow and forever this is someone that is wishing for a connection that feels very unconditional and very very deep very transformative let's have a look at my chocolate message cards everyone let's take a card and see what the message is for today I love these uh, little cards and um, if you're interested in them, they are in the description box below. Okay, let's take the card for today, please, Spirit. Let's take today's card and we have buttons, transformation, not surprising. Let's read the card. Maybe you want to have a look at it. Pause the video. Okay, so it says, A time of transformation. Old ways of thinking are coming to an end. 
something in your life needs sweetening and you are open to personal transformation. Delve deep into, into your subconscious. We've got the moon and Pluto here, Scorpio. Have you thought about hypnosis? How about a support group, meditation or some form of therapy? Be willing to explore. As you learn more about yourself, you will find the deeper meaning of life. And the affirmation is, I find my own sweetness in life. I would say that as someone is trying to find their way here, no doubt. And of course, it does speak of a deep transformation. So Pluto is activated here, no doubt, everyone. Now, we do have, as I said, the Ace of Swords in the reverse in the distant past. We've got the Ace of Cups here, which does indicate some sort of an emotional opening here. As long as whatever that third situation was, whether it was a person, whether it was um, a situation, a family member in your life, someone is ready to do battle and let go of that. You know, they're trying to um, bring their life into balance and balance is a two, it's not a three. I will leave you with that. I want to thank you so much. Hopefully it resonated for you. Sending you much love, many blessings, and I will talk to you soon, everyone.